Hello everyone, this is GrayShot117 and GrayShot151 here. And we are both doing the best 4v4 maps. It has been a while since we've done this, and actually we've had three new maps in the meantime to add to our list. Yep. But we'll be recovering all of them because I think our opinions might have changed on the one or two of them. Not to mention we have the original classic maps, and with our new opinions on the new maps, I think a lot of I think some maps have been put into a better context. Yes. Uh, especially with how the meta has turned out. <laughs> yeah. And also some maps have been updated. Uh, like uh, Lanzareth Ambush has had like its middle section completely redone. Uh, I believe since the last time we did this. And Leon Forest uh, as well. I yeah, I believe that they've made alterations since then. I It's either from the last time we did it, either they just did it or we got beforehand. But they didn't add the three new community maps. That's for sure. Because they weren't on the list, at the very least, when I made it. So, very true. Alright, so let's get into it, shall we? Uh, first up on the list, we got ourselves City 17 winner. Uh, I think this is a... I think this is a low tier. Where would you put this? I would put this at, like, average. Like, City... I like City 17. It's not a bad map. I, I would... It's, I the would winter throw, version. But I know... I don't, that's what I'm saying. The winter version, A, has been updated. B is the inferior version. And yes. it's kind of just generic. Like, even in a custom game, I'm never like, oh, yeah, the winter version of City 17. So I would say either C or D. I wouldn't go as far to say F. I don't think there's anything objectively no. wrong with it. I think, though, no. that that is F. F is a map where, in my I opinion... I think it's just so many tiny lanes in the winter variation. I I put it D tier, in my yeah. personal opinion. I, D, D yeah. works. Anything, I would I would object to an F. Uh, no. An F needs to be a map that is objectively bad to play on. Like, it, it hurts to play on. Yes. I, I think C17 winner is just boring. It's just very, uh, it's a boring map, especially when they took the winner uh, blizzards and stuff like that out of it. They kind of <laughs> opened it up. Yeah, no agreed. Okay, so I think C17 on that uh, is better than win the winner version. However, I still think it's average. It's C tier. City 17, I, I, I would tend to agree. It's not a bad map again, but yeah. it's average. Uh, I Both sides are unique in their own way. The center, I, I feel it's like slightly too big for like the center play. And there's, I yeah. don't know. It's it's interesting city dynamic, but it's not my favorite city There map. is a reason it's on my veto map list because I just grew tired of it. Very it, it's it's been, it's like, it's one of the hallmarks. It's one of the original maps. Yes. So makes sense. But I think another map, is better than it in terms of uh, being the original or part of that original set. But uh, anyway, now we have Essence Steelworks. Oh Jesus! Uh, this one I is both a love hate relationship for me. Yes. I got it. Uh, usually uh, it's drawn out battles in mid. It's one of the few that is literally in the middle as hell. Uh, the flanks are usually again with the fuel. I don't mind the urban landscape. It is typically on my veto list, though I don't mind playing on the map. I just find it it's annoying. On, it's on my veto list because it is a map that consistently I hate because it is too wide. It's a map that feels wider yeah. than it should. It needs to be, like, compressed a little bit. Uh, yeah. Also, the corners are just... I need any Like, I like city maps, but this is a city map where, specifically, you are punished if there's a Sturm or rangers or whatever on that corner it, you just get demolished if you are if you just and they're a tree walk. path yeah yeah and the retreat path thing is bleh uh so i would say that this map for me is a is a c i've had good times with it but for me it's just i've also had just i want to rip my eyes out kind of maps All right. for games and for those who don't know currently we're setting it up so there's two in c tier right now we're gonna finalize each tier at the end so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. now Okay, so here's the problem. Face off at Rostov, I have a love-hate relationship with because I like the map. I do. The problem is it has a glaring fundamental problem that we've re I, I've played this map recently, and it's very obvious that if you're on one side and you get pushed back, you're done. Yep. And you it can sucks. easily and you can easily sabotage it, even if you're not pushing that person yeah. back. This map, I was wondering why they would make this, and the best thing I can come up, come up with was in Theater of War, they're like, yes, this works for Theater of War, but when they moved it over to multiplayer, they realized, oh shoot, this does not work. They, 
They realized that after a long time, though. This map was in the rotation for a while. It's one of my favorites. Like, it's a favorite map of mine in some of my favorite moments in Code 2. But also, like, goddamn, whoever thought it was a good idea to have a giant river crossing and breakable ice to block a third of the map. No. It's Unless it it's was in bad. middle. If it was in middle, it would be interesting. Like, the, the so, island component is cool. I like the island component. Yes. Uh, but, no, I completely agree. It is absolutely a travesty uh, that the, the, the river did not go... If the river went through the center portion where the pool yes. and the star was, it would be perfect. It would be balanced. But where it is now, no, not, not in the slightest. And I... This is a map I am tempted to say F. Not because it's an objectively bad map, but because the map actively works against the players and creates bad times. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a fun map. That I've had good and it's it, how about, let me rephrase that it's a map that I've had tons of fun with it's a map that I think is in terms of the aesthetic really well done like it, it, it's one of the maps I can visually see in my head and I know what it is immediately uh and I like the design however I do it has such a fundamental flaw that it I think yeah it deserves it okay uh, it is an F tier yep next up we have General Mud. Mud. What do you think? Why don't you take the lead on this one? This, I mean, like, they've got rid of the mud properties, right? So you no longer have to worry about that. That they was a big issue. Yeah. Not an issue, but people complained. I don't necessarily mind the mud slowing things down, but whatever. Um, again, I think terrain deficits is a good idea, rather than a lot of com competitive players who hate it, but hey, it's part of the game. Um, the... The basic thing I see in this map is it's very wide, which yep. works in some amazing flanks. Uh, but I feel like it's just a map that has like the little town in mid and like you have the church on the far right or the open field on the far left. But there's not really much interesting about it. I think it's just a C tier map. It's a worse version of where is it? Uh, Vilsong. It's yeah. a, I think it's a worse version of Vilsam because at least in the center portion of Vilsam, you have a wide open area so you can do some interesting tank, like tank combat, long range yes. tank combat, some flanks. Whereas this has the city in the center, which is like a mo like a maze for your tanks. So if you're trying to chase something down, it's just annoying and infantry can cut you off at the corners. So the, the, the sides are open, the center's congested, it, no one wants to really fight in the center. It's Everyone fights on the sides. It's... Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I, I think this is a flawed map. I would either say C or D tier. I would, I'm fine with C for right now. Okay, I, I, I will go with C. All again. right, next is Hill 331. Uh, again, another, I, I feel like we're getting a lot of the big opening ones right now. Hill 331, this map. I actually kind of like the middle portion because, again, you're fighting over this hill. You have the center command post that you have to fight for. It can be, or like a trench, you could battle it out in heavy cover. There's flanks around the side. If we're just talking about the middle of the map, I really enjoy it. However, can we also stress that the center portion of the map, anytime you're firing with a tank, I remember so many times. A yes. tank shot fires up that hill and it misses. It just hits the ground. Because yes. pathing on a verticality level, I don't think this game does well at all. Like I don't think no. it, I don't think a Panther, I don't think any tank can actually shoot straight going up a hill or down a hill. And it's yeah. infuriating. Also, when there's trenches in the between the two, somehow the shot always hits the bottom of the trench that is carved yeah. out for infantry. And you're just like, how does this make sense in regards to a flat project? It's insane. Uh, yeah. Also, again, I think this is a worse version of Vilsam. Whereas, the hill is an interesting concept, but you have to. there's not a lot of ways to traverse up it. Yeah. So, when you're fighting on the sides, right? Let's say one person gets one team gets one side, the other team gets the other side. There are only select routes to get up the actual center hill, and it's infuriating when you get choked off or cut off. Yeah, I, I, can, I can see your argument there. Um... Okay, so if I were to, like, if I were to guess, right, and, and pick something, um, my assumption would be it, it does have flaws on the flanks, and I think Co. 3 hopefully will fix the whole shooting uphill. You're, I see the D. All right, fine. 
I'm, I'm not gonna voice my opinion, but... You know, so, I... It is backwards on my screen, but I find it oh. funny. Alright. <laughs> now, I think we both can say this is a better map. Hill 400. Oh, Hill 400's great. I, I, I... Yeah. Uh, Hill 400 is a really, really good map. Because there's enough open space in the center. And you yeah. fight on the sides. Like, I think this map has gone worse as people have just focused on the sides. And the sides are not the most fun point. The, the fun point is in center where you're trying to, like, do flanks and stuff. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I, uh, I I don't think this is as bad as the other offenders of fight on the sides and then something in center. Yeah. I I, I like it as well because of the capture point interest. Because in this map, it is an interesting take of where you could, you could theoretically cut off the person's fuel. And this map is so key in which if, even if you can't decap the fuel, you could cut it off via one or two capture points. So it makes it interesting that, that way you don't have to constantly fight for the fuel. You can fight around the fuel. It's a dead game you don't see on other maps. Yeah, which makes it very unique. I, I am, and again, I, I don't think there's very many choke points in this. I mean, there are in terms of the capture points, be choking and cutting off territory, but it's not a situation where, um, you it, even there are battles in this game where neither side has fuel and it still is entertaining and i think that at least pushes it for me to a tier what do you think um i would agree with your assessment however i'm tempted to almost bring it down to b tier based on the fact that it is not symmetrical in the fact that you can cut off enemy fuel one side you need uh you can cut off the enemy star and fuel or you yep. can capture, sorry, you can capture uh, the fuel by taking the star. The other side, yep. you need three points, which feels the a idea, little weird. The idea is to give one side a better advantage on that point than the other. Yeah, it, it I, 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 I understand that philosophy. It's just, it doesn't feel like the other side has the innate advantage that I think the developers wanted for this map. All right, so how about this? B tier for now. Yes, I, B tier is perfect. All right, so next up we have Legliese, another hilly map, but this one is so sl uh, is sloped in a particular way. It doesn't feel as bad, at least unless you're in uh, certain areas like behind the town on the one side where it's a definitely a deep slope. Um, overall, the city admits nice. It definitely has an interesting setting. Again, a winter map, so I'll give it a plus. My only negatives would be the farmhouse on the right and left. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of those flanks. They feel like neither side can really have a good position i know there are buildings there to help you lock it down but they don't feel as if they don't feel you, as defensible yeah i don't know what what do you think um this is a map that can go either way for me this is like essence steelworks i have had just as many hair pulling matches on this map because it feels like people are jumping from building to building specifically yeah. on the flanks like center i feel is fair but usually the flanks are what drives me up a wall in this map. Um, yeah. In how it and how things go. So I would say for me, this is a good map, but not one of my favorites. N not not one I yeah. personally do. I usually veto this map because I am I hate those sides. The sides feel like an uphill battle because uh, kind of like Kill 400, you can cut off one side's fuel and not the other yeah. one, and the other side. It, I don't know. It feels it kind just of just doesn't feel fun to fight in. I guess that's the best way to put it. It's just yeah. not as fun. It's a good map. Just yeah, for whatever reason, it's just not fun to fight on All this right. map. All right. So for the Glees, do you want to put C tier for now? Yeah, C tier. Again, solid map design, mostly yeah, four C tiers. But fun tier is just bottom. I can't wait for all the people in the comments to be like, "Great shot! You have four C tier." We'll, we'll finalize it in the end. We'll see. It'll bounce all out. right. Good map. Lands Earth ambush. Uh, oh, this is easy A. Easy A, maybe S? Maybe? But A tier at the very least. The, uh, since a lot, I, again, just even if there was, I, have, I haven't checked the tier list because I didn't want to be biased by my, by an opinion I had a couple years ago, but I will say that the opening of mid really helped flesh it out. It feels relatively balanced. Um, both sides have a, have advantages, pros and cons to how you attack. Or how you lock down territory. Um, I always have pretty good games here. The middle is always open for the fuel. I, I my one thing could I could say is it feels like maybe the fuel for the 
farmhouse side is easier than the fuel that's kind of like behind the trees, if that kind of makes sense. Like, yeah. it feels like that might be a little easier to capture, but um, I don't know. I just always have a good time. I, my negatives would be they took out Blizzard, which sucks. Uh, and I, I feel like a winter map with Blizzard would be great. I, think, I know. I, I, I'm one of the few people. I think the Blizzards, understandably, they slow down combat, so I understand why they removed it. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 this is a side where one side has an advantage, the other one does not, and it kind of works in regards to the map. I, I feel like you get much better long-term, like, again, we play 4v4, we like long, competitive games, and this is a map yeah. that has that in abundance. There's also plenty of flanking potential here. I cannot yeah. stress how awesome a flank on this map is, or when yes. you do a dive and it works out, so much fun. Either way, it, it works out. I, I, I listen. I on this map in particular. I don't know if it's just the map, but I've been told Axis allies, every faction is OP. Every yep. side is biased. It is like I could, I you could not get a more balance in regards to how this is set up. So yeah, I would say A, maybe S, but easy A. We'll keep an A for now. I, I easily see upcoming a D tier. Uh, with uh, Lazer Factory because it has a fundamental problem where you could close off a good chunk of the map to the enemy and all the enemy would be unable to do much. There's also portions on this map you do not fight in. Like, mm -hmm. absolutely, there are portions of this map where it's, it, there is no need to fight in certain sectors of this map. It's essentially lock down the train tracks and then push for the fuel or that, that far side area and then if you close it great if you manage to like get your like push over great but one side it does have a small disadvantage also it's kind of like a rundown f factory uh it's okay i don't think it's terrible because again the train tracks are something that will take time to lock down it isn't something like breaking the ice or destroying a bridge easy like in rostov but what do you think I mean, this is an easy B tier for me. I'm gonna be quite honest. Yeah, you only. Are fight you really? One, yeah, um, this is you only fight one part of the map. But as someone that likes locking stuff down and forcing the enemy to come to me and destroying the enemy in abundance, I uh I quite enjoy this map. Putting tank traps down and locking down the points and creating the back I'm and forth. Disappointed in you. Creating the back and forth gameplay. Oh come on, we all know it's an S tier coming up, and we both know it's the same shtick. Uh. So, I overall would say that Lizard Factory, uh, for me, is at least a B tier. But, All right, uh, in regards to compromise, I will put it in a C tier position. There we go. Okay, I'm fine with that. It's, it's again, <laughs> I, 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 I think it, the destroyed city doesn't really do much to it. It all looks like rundown rubble. Yeah, um, it's not, but, unique. Not, not a unique looking map. It's not memorable, yeah. I should say. But... I will, and also, but fine, I will, I will, I will compromise and say C tier. Um, I played it a few times, which is why I'm like, ooh, this is not balanced as much as I would like it for, to, to be. All right, the end forest, I think it's easy S. Is that, is that fair? Yeah. All right, I, the reason is the city area, forest area, middle, especially with them opening up mid, is all very different and distinct. It doesn't feel like one side is overpowered. You can close off the forest in both angles. You can close off city in both angles and have a good time. Uh, middle usually drags out to a long-range tank destroyer fest, and I love it. Um, and middle, you could fl uh, you know push with heavy infantry or force. You have a tank charge that kind of literally go through the Ardennes like the Germans and blitz the enemy down. It's great. So I, I have no issues with this map. No, yeah, every, every area is unique, but I would say maybe Forest slightly favors the Axis because close range infantry, but I've won this plenty of times as the Allies, so I, I would disagree with that bias. Other, overall, every area is unique. You have a big open and center, close knit on the one side, and close knit with Forest on the other. It works, it's unique, easy S tier. Now, Lien Forest Winter. Oh, easy D tier, come on. <laughs> Please. I mean, it's the winter version. I don't think it's that bad. <sighs> old, old Lian is this map, and then it has worse changes. So it's we're already yeah. going to old Lian, and then you're gonna add the winterized version, which is kind of a man. Like, there's not a lot of good things. There's a lot of negative cover, especially in the city area. Uh, it, it the forest kind of just feels bland again. 
I, I, I genuinely, any, any time, every time we've played this map in a custom game, I've always kind of just hated it. Yeah, I, I can't fair. think of any good times I've had on this map. Bias. That's fair. We'll, we'll put D tier, because it, it is so fundamentally flawed compared to the best version of the map. Um, but here, uh, what about Lord's Assault? Because I'll tell you, I, I, I'm going to rank this high. A lot of people hate this map, but I actually think the 5 VPs work. I second your opinion. I think the 5 VP is a unique feature, and yep. there are plenty of different combat areas. I've been swept on this map plenty of times, and it has caused me to have some rage moments, but they're still unique. I, it's unique engagements. It, it does have a unique flaw where it does feel like a 1v1 in the south. Oh, yeah. That it that it is a 3v3 up north and a 1v1 in the south. That's the problem with this map. It's a bit too big, so one player feels like they're just having no support. However, if you enjoy 1v1s and then having air support by your allies, it's a fun thing. So I would probably put this as a B tier. What do you think? A B tier. I think B tier is perfect for this map. But again, the the south. Uh, I cannot tell you how many times. Like guys, I've won the southern engagement. Oh, hey, Everyone else died. Thing. And then and then everyone sends their tank southward and just tries to do a massive flank. Like the like go around the mountain to flank around the side because they're losing and they just get absolutely yeah. destroyed. Like there are some unique and awesome moments that this map can enjoy, but it is flawed because it can go by too quickly. It is that kind of separation and you never kind of get that 4v4 feel. So yeah, B tier is perfect. I'd say high B tier, but B tier. Okay. Um. I see an issue right now. I don't know why Rishev Winter is in this. Was it in, was it a four v four map? I th what? Yeah, I, I think I, my dumb. I think my, myself as a younger self maybe put this here by accident. So I'm just gonna move it all the way down the list. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't. Think I don't that know why it's there. Here. We're just going to ignore it. Uh, so Port of Hamburg is next. I think that's an A tier. Oh, I'd say uh, it's an S tier. Okay. Here's the pros. It's well balanced. For the mo uh, even with bridges, I think the, the changes they've done made it better. Yep. Um, you can lock areas down, but that could be detrimental for you because, again, like in Northern Sector, you can easily take out the three caches. But again, it does favor that side with those three caches because on the other side, it's a lot easier to push for the caches when there's no like water, terrain, or anything like that. But again I, I feel like it is pretty balanced in terms of each side going for their respective fuels and holding on to it usually one side will grab it or not but they it's it's fine both sides can technically hold on to their fuels um, i would say it's a, it's a balance because while one side can have all the caches which yes are better like three you have three yeah. for the most part you could undisturb caches there are plenty of times though that for that gain of kind of you are safe, you you like no one you have no fuel. Like yeah, uh, both fuels are gone. Like it's it's yeah. a lot harder to hold the fuels from that angle. So it's kind of like a give and take, uh, which is not on a lot of matches or maps I should say. But it's uh, otherwise I think the bridges added a lot of uh, flanking a potential. Yes, you can't block them off, but they still have the potential there. Uh, this is a map where flanks and massive pushes are amazing in 4v4s. I've had yeah. amazing opportunities, and next to another map that's coming up, uh, this is one of my all-time favorites of Code 2. Okay, so, I'm fine with keeping... If we want to do A, I can, I will relent to an A. But a high A. My, my only thing about this map is it does become an arty fest. It does! Yeah. And... As as I, I as someone that likes the late game, I am perfectly content with this. Fine. As long we'll as I have a direct strike. Uh, fine, we'll move it up to S tier. Yes. It's a but low. We have S. another low S. We have, we, yes, but we have another S tier coming in Red Ball Express. Oh, the, yeah. It's it's you. There's nothing that needs to be said. It's just S tier. This is just yeah. the best map. It's balanced. Wide open left. Yeah, middle is nice, uh, has medium corridors, but still decent medium range uh, warfare. On the fourth side, it's unique. Again, every single side is unique. Every single side is different. It's well balanced. Uh, it's just a good map to play on. Three but lanes. Also three good for encirclement. Lanes. Yeah, three lanes, three distinct lanes, plenty of opportunities. You can do different strategies on this map. What more can you ask for? Yeah. All right, Sitar Summer. 
Hey, remember how you shat on uh, at the last Lazur Factory because of no, all no. the reasons? I shat on Lazur Factory because it's blend. You know what Sitar and Summer has? Personality. If you're going for a one map that's divided by one area, it is the best you can ask for. The it frame the rate most... drops on it, <laughs> and it does turn to a slog. But by God, it's a fun slog. Even when I did the zombie map, it was fun. I mean, yeah. Every time I listen, I love this map too. I'm not. I'm just giving you a hard time. This is one of my favorite maps. It's a hellish torment to fight for yes. center, but it's a hellish torment that you come to love and respect. Yes. So I think A tier is a good place to put it. I would agree. It, it's too cancerous to be S. I can't so, wait for the person to be like, wait, you gave Sitard Summer an A, but you put fucking Essence Steelworks in a C? <laughs> yep, that's our list. Enjoy. Yeah, yeah, it's just a good map. It's a fun time. No alcohol required. <laughs> uh, steps. This one I think is solid B tier. It's one of the originals. They've updated it quite a number of times, and I think that, yes, while it is a little maybe too much open, I think I've had plenty of fun getting games here. It's well distributed in regards to how the fuel and the munitions are. Like, yeah, the south is definitely the more important of the the area, but like I've we've won this number of times by focusing on the north, holding the munitions, holding both stars, and just w beating the axis, even if they have you know all the fuel in the world. Yeah, no, I I would agree. Um, I could e I see this as a B. Because again, the island or the northern or the middle north star usually turns into where the most of the fighting happens. Um, yeah, I could see it. It's just, it's fine. I think there are better maps uh, that we've talked about that are more distinct. Uh, but this is a solid map. It, it doesn't necessarily have a distinction to it, but I think it's still fun to play on. Yeah, it, it's not the it, when I say B tier, I mean like a low B. It, it, it's a map that shows its age, but it's still able to hold on to a solid ranking in a lot of the player base and the yeah uh, yeah. So, uh, Vilsom, I think this is I veto this a lot because it is a, I have to be in a very particular mood. But when I am in the mood, it is a fun map because of the urban sort of industrial complex on the left, the city on the right, and the minefield. Oh wait, I'm sorry, they took that out. Uh, my favorite was watching new players run into the minefield. That was, mwah, that was chef's kiss. But, uh, no, I still think middle is open enough that you could launch some good dives and flank, literally the flanks, it's, or, you know, surround the flanks. It's good. The would, hills they have to climb on both sides aren't that detrimental. It feels like you have plenty of leeway or ways to get up the hill and then fight rather than fighting up the hill. This is, in my opinion, the best 2v2 uh yeah uh, a squ uh, v2 uh map uh in co2 I, I i like this one a lot because the two each side feels important and then usually one one side is one uh the the the, the focus shifts to center and usually they are fun engagements especially since they got rid of all the damn mines the mines yes. made it so this this was just one side was a 2v2 the other side was a 2v2 and you couldn't really do much unless you had armored warfare that could actually move uh yeah. now it's good. They fixed out the they fixed the issues. The center's a lot more balanced. The sides are a lot more balanced. I would give this a B tier. I think. I think it's. I think it. Uh, it because it's still a two v two on like the the corners, and you sometimes you don't even interact with your teammates a lot. Yeah. It's. It can kind of you know become very flexible and you know ranking, but or it keeps it from okay. being high in the ranking, but. No, I could see B tier for now. Okay. Um, one that was a 4v4, or at least it technically has a designation for a 4v4, is Anklet and Archery. There is a 4v4 designation for this map. Yeah. It just never showed up, I guess. Um, I've played, I think I've played it once or twice on a 4v4. Um, recently. I mean, not that recently, but at least in the past, like, year. It was okay. I can't say it's that different. It has a unique, like, harbor-esque area, but overall, it was like, once you lock it down, the other side is a little bit harder to take. Hmm. The northern sector is a little bit more open, uh, and but it's also uh, just fine. I mean, it has like a hotel, not a hotel, but kind of like a big building in it nearby that you kind of fight over. Yeah, it's not a map uh, that draws me, though, so I'd say probably D tier. Yeah. 
it's just I don't know. It, like it's it, yeah, it's just not much to it. Uh, Mo all right, we got another F. Montero just region. Oh Go. yeah, easy F, easy F in regards to uh, how the map was broken up. Because Do F this was in rotation. It was this for was a long time. I don't understand who thought this was a great idea. Because while the other one is like, hey, you know what? Lord to Salt, we're going to have everything spread out. It's going to be interesting. This monstrosity at 5 VPs, some of them in the middle of freaking nowhere. And I don't understand why. And then you would have to fight over the fuel and munitions. The fuel you could literally lock down. Yep. It's insane. That was the whole plan. You lock down the fuels, you then rush out light armor, and you murder everything. Because the map is so wide... That yeah. infantry has to go solo to cap the point, so you could just murder it with light light vehicles. And what can the enemy do? Their, yeah. their AT gun can't do anything because the map was so broken up and scatterbrained that it almost felt like four maps fused together. Because you had the fuel yeah. area, you'd have center, you'd have the far left, and then you'd have all the open space in between. The muni area. Like, yeah, yeah. It was. It, this is a map that was like four people designed it, but no one had oversight so they all just put everything together and you got this no it's 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 ridiculous i i don't understand i i don't get it either I, yeah easy f or yeah easy f next up uh white ball express okay so anyway uh white ball express i would say that is a i would say a tier i would probably say i would agree with that assessment it, it's it's maybe a soft S because maybe it's not as perfectly balanced as Red Ball. Yeah. Red Ball is just so good. Red Ball, Red Ball is the poster child, and White Ball is like the the the, the other child trying desperately to gain the affection that its sibling yes. gets, and it just can't. Uh, but a, the difference is White Ball it doesn't feel as distinct as Red Ball. Red Ball has a little more flavor in terms of the terrain. White Ball feels the same across the board it doesn't feel like a different map where at least red ball feels like a forest area a wide open area you know what do you I think would, i would i would second that notion mainly because yeah the, the, it's not as memorable as red ball but maybe that's because we've played red ball a metric ton yeah. uh but yeah, okay so over, overall i think a tier is perfectly suited for this i also think a tier is perfectly suited for road to arnhem I, you know, when this map first came out, I would have thought you were an insane person. But yes, I now agree, Road to Arnhem is balanced, it's fun, it's good. I've been swept on this map many a times, but I've had plenty of enjoyable things. I think it's balanced. I think there's a lot of opportunity to do different things on this map. Yeah. yeah it's It really doesn't have it, the distinctness, I would say, but I still think it's a fun map. Which I was why it's A tier, because I don't have a fundamental issue. Uh, for those who don't know, S tier is like perfect. Uh, a tier is maybe one or two things that I don't care for. And then B tier, you just keep adding. Where you have fundamental flaws in the lower portion. But I don't think Rota Artem has any fundamental flaws. No, I don't I don't think so either. I, I think it's perfectly suited for where it is right now. Because like, yeah. minus... Maybe it's too wide. Maybe the stars are too far, but like... But that, even then, it, the battle is usually over the fuel, which kind of constricts it a little more. You don't really go out that much, except for maybe one or two infantry units. Um, so, yeah, I think A tier is fine for this. Yeah, and I, then I, uh, Nordwind, I would say, is a B tier. I was gonna say this. I've also come around on as well. I used to hate yeah. this map with a burning passion. Now I play on it, and I understand the appeal. So I would go with a B tier on this. It's still okay. too wide, and the hill area is BS, but yes, it's a B tier. Okay. Um, yeah, I agree. Uh, the city area, I mean, it is more distinct. I just hate the hill area, and overall, I feel like it can be sometimes a little bit annoying for pathfinding in some areas of this map. But uh, overall, uh, I think it's fine. I also think this is an area, this is a map where snow doesn't really make it look better. It kind of looks just more blasé. Yeah. And, I, there, and there's some people who are, like, mad at Co. 3 for not having color. After seeing Nordwind, I'm like, thank you. Oh, my God, color. <laughs> um, But, yeah. All right, so now let's go from bottom to top. Yes. Because we're not doing Red Chef Winter. 
And uh, uh, yeah, that's accidentally on there. Okay, so I would, Montargis is like bottom F. Yes. Because that map is objectively the worst. Like Regev yes. we have fun with. It's still broken, but we still have fun with. Uh, so face well, off Rob is one. Yeah, yeah it, face off is stop. Sorry, is one. Then Montargis. Montargis is the absolute pinnacle of bad map design. Okay, um, I am fine with. So if I go D tier, I think yeah. Hill three three one is the best out of those. Yes. Okay, and then if we're going like after that, I would say, honestly, it would probably be Anklet and Archery. Then 17, then Leanne Forest. I was going to say, Leanne Forest better be at the bottom. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, I'm fine with those. Okay. It's funny how you can just... It's a fun, winter, the winterized version just makes the maps worse. Yes. Um, next up, we have uh, the C tier list. I think the best map... Is there any ones you want to bring up to B tier after looking at these? Uh, looking at this map, City 17, I would argue B tier. But the rest of them, I understand why they're in C tier. As much as it pains me just for Lizard to be there, I won't. I won't fight that one. See, I'm the opposite. I'm fine with bringing Essence Steelworks up to B tier. No, Essence Steelworks dies. Uh, stays in C. <laughs> it, it, it dies in a hole, and, and I and I pat it on the back on occasion. But I'm fine. not. Um, I'm not giving it an edge in either direction. But here, we'll give Essence top of C. Okay. Okay. And we'll move City 17 to B. Okay. Right? Yeah, bottom we'll of move. B. Absolute bottom of B. Okay. General Mud is the second part of C. Then Legliz. Then Lazur. Or do you want to move Legliz over General Mud? Because I'm I would, fine with... I would I would say... Uh, I, I think would Legliz is better. Then General Mud? Yeah, I, yeah, I would agree with that. Okay. That, that I can agree with. Okay. Alright, now we're in B tier. Is there anything uh, in B tier you want to move up to A tier? Mm, no, I think it's, everything's pretty much suited as it should be. Okay. Um, Do you have a recommendation for A tier? I'm trying to. I'm tr I'm looking at this and like in my head, I'm like, is there anything that would shoot up? And honest to God, no. I have problems with each of these maps in their own. Yeah, they have way. flaws. They have flaws. Yeah. That's fine. So what would be the top of B? I would say the top of Hill B 400. is... Hill 400. Yeah, Hill 400. Then I would say, uh... The Osam? Yeah, sure, I could... I can, I, I can let you have that. The Osam and then Lord Assault? Yes, and then Steps? Yep. And then Northwind Wind and... D yeah, okay. Then C-17 at the very bottom, squeaking yes. by into B tier. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so next up we have... Uh, Landsworth Ambush, Sitard Summer, White Ball, and Road to Arnhem. Sitard should be at the bottom of A because it's it's a it's a yeah. It's not a pick out of quality. Let's just say it like that. It's a pick out of uh, the type of uh, battles that occur on that map, not because of the actual map. Does you know what I mean? Like yeah, I think uh, Landsworth Ambush is the best of these. Yeah, White Ball I would say is next, then Road to Arnhem, and then Sitard Summer. Yes. I will second that. Okay, now on the S tier, I think Port Red of Hamburg is the... Yeah, Red Ball is the highest, Lien is second, Port of Hamburg is third. Perfectly content with that. Okay, so this is our 4v4 list. Are we good with this? Yes, I am ready to steal this in stone. I think this is a we... I don't think there's any more maps. Co3 was announced, obviously, now, so, like, there are... I doubt they're going to release another map pack or expansion for this game. I think everyone's looking yeah. forward to Co 3. So I think this is going to be our definitive final list for Co 2. And I think this is a good list. I would agree. Hey, I will leave the link down below for you doing a tier list if you think yours uh, placement's better. As well as what do you think about our choices? Do you think we're dead wrong? Well, let us know down below. And of course, you can leave your comments as well to just tell us how amazing or terrible we are. But in the meantime... Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. This has been Grey Shop 17 and 151. And we'll see all of you next time. Later. Hello everyone. Before you all go, you can check out more content above. You can subscribe and you can hear as I talk about some amazing people who support me on Patreon, which include Falkford, Afria, Joey G240, Malam, Ace, Shinobi Warrior, Pyroshark, Sum Tool, Epic Pleb. Thank you all for your incredible support. You literally helped this channel keep on growing. So thank you. 
you want to support the channel, again, check out some of the stuff I mentioned. Otherwise, I'll see all of you next time.